In this video, we're going to see route stability criterion special case. <clears throat> this special case is about when you're forming the routes array, if in any row, if you see the first term of the row becoming zero, and at least one of the rest of the elements in the row are non-zero, then we're going to use the procedure, which we're going to see it here. Okay, to better understand this kind of special case, we will start with a problem and we'll solve it. And meanwhile, we'll discuss the procedure, how to do it. Let us take this example. This is a fifth order equation. Okay. Now for this, we're going to do route stability criterion to determine if there are any routes present in the right half of S plane in order to conclude if a system having this as a characteristic equation, if that system is stable or not. Okay. Let's start doing this problem. First, the procedure is we need to start with forming the first two rows of this routes array from this equation. Okay. S power 5 and S power 4. For S power, okay. For this first one, as we have seen, this 5 is odd here. So all this odd term coefficients, we need to place them here. Okay, in the first row, which is S power 5 is 1, S cube term coefficient is 2, and S power 1 coefficient here is 3. And for this second row formation, as this 4 is even, we're going to take all even term coefficients and put them here in the second row. So in this case, the second row will be filled with these terms. Okay, S power 4, S square, and S power 0. So these values are 1, 2, and 5 respectively. Now the rest of the rows, we need to form them. Okay. S cube term. So for finding out this value, we need to multiply 1 times 2 minus 1 times 2 divided by 1. Obviously, we are getting a value 0 here. Okay. Now to find out the, these values, 1 times 3 minus 1 times 5 divided by 1. We'll have 3 minus 5 divided by 1, which will be minus 2. Okay. And of course, these rest of the values here will be 0. So 1 times 0 minus 1 times 0 divided by 1 will have 0. So now we have one element which is non-zero in this row. And the first element or first value here in this row is 0. So now this special case 1 applies. In this situations, when we are faced with, we need to substitute this zero value with a small positive value, which is epsilon. Okay. Let's substitute zero with epsilon and start doing this problem. Okay. Let us take epsilon here and then start solving the next value s square. If we take two epsilon, okay, minus one times this value, which is minus two, okay, we'll have minus of minus 2 divided by epsilon. Okay. And if you take value here, it will be 5 epsilon minus 0 divided by epsilon. We'll have 5 here. Right. If you take s power 1 here, okay, <coughs> this times this minus 5 times epsilon divided by this term. Let me write down here 2 epsilon plus 2, okay, divided by epsilon times minus 2, okay, minus 5 epsilon divided by 2 epsilon plus 2 divided by epsilon. <clears throat> if we try solving this, we're going to have minus 4 epsilon minus 4 minus 5 epsilon square divided by 2 epsilon plus 2. And this term for this would be 0 here. And if you take s power 0 value here, it will be this times this minus this times this divided by this, which will be 5 here. Okay. Let me rewrite the first column here in order to make this clear. Okay. s power 5, s power 4, s cube, s square, s power 1, s power 0. Fine. Now after forming this, this first column, now let us apply this limit epsilon tending to 0. Okay. 
now if you substitute this this becomes zero okay and this term becomes plus infinity as if you write 2 epsilon plus 2 by epsilon here you'll have 2 plus 2 by epsilon when epsilon tends to 0 this term becomes infinity right the total term tends to infinity if you look at this value here this value will come out to be minus 4 over 2 which will be equals to minus 2 right if you look at this sign changes here okay plus 2 plus no sign change plus 2 plus no sign change plus 2 plus no sign change plus 2 minus there is one sign change okay and minus 2 plus there is one sign change we have a total of 1 plus 1 equals to 2 sign changes here which means we'll have at least two roots of this equation present in the right half of the s plane and suppose if you are given this is the characteristic equation of a system then you can say the system is unstable for sure based on this conclusion okay thanks for watching